Bernie, first in the live chat. God is great, sir. I hate Titus. Sensei Domino, hey Dom, Bernie, Titus, and all. God is great. Bernie and Sensei. Sensei. <coughs> Appreciate everybody being here. I'm going to be watching my Mariners down on the side here. Playing in Toronto against the Toronto Blue Jays. So I'll be keeping track of my Seattle Mariners because they're playing while I'm doing my live stream. Other than that, we are going to have some fun today. Got a family mail call package from Lockin today. So we'll see what that is. Six in the morning, but stayed awake so I don't miss. <laughs> there we go. Well, you get sleep once in a while there, Titus. You don't have to always be here live if you can't make it. But do appreciate you. Do appreciate you. So let me get things rocking and rolling here. Let me get the live chat going here. Two o'clock with Bernie, so right at 2.05, we will finish the early bird entries. And I'm feeling confident if we can get about seven people in here, that should get us to the third prize. And if we do that, I'll sh sh verify it. We have three there. Okay. Right at 205, we'll do that. So, again. The title for our show today is as follows, Hall of Fame Biography, episode 217, Johnny Mize, followed by Trivia. It'll be a five-point trivia question. All right. Then we'll have Family Mail Call Package from Jason. It's this package right here, in case you're wondering. This package right over here to my left. You're right, probably, when you're looking at it. Um, but, yeah. So, that's awesome, awesome there. And then we'll do a, the uh, 2023 Top Stadium Club Blaster. If we do get more than 10 thumbs up, we'll open up a second blaster. we got two days left. We've got this one. And, well, maybe we'll wait and do it tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see how the stream goes with this package from Jason. I don't know for sure what he's got in here. My guess is probably some more Fairfield boxes since he knew I was getting low. But we'll see what happens with that. All right? As soon as my computer's clock says 2.05, we'll lock everybody in. Big Rays, ball cards, made it in in the early bird specials. Appreciate it there, Mark. Thanks for popping into the stream here. As soon as we're at 2.05, we got a runner on first. With no outs, see if we can get some run scored this last game of the series. Toronto took the first two games, but we're, they got Yusei Kikuchi pitching on the mound for Toronto, and Logan Gilbert for the, Phil, for, uh, the Seattle Mariners. And I do have 205, so that ends the early bird entries. Let me do a refresh here.
we pin this? No, end the poll. There we go. I got a poll up there. You guys can participate in it if you want. Just wanted to get a quick idea of what you think about that. You can read the question and say yay or nay. Just cast your vote up there. I'll appreciate it. It says, what would you think of me doing $1 auctions on Fridays starting uh, in May or also what not auctions? Okay. Just go ahead and cast your vote. So, so far, everybody's saying yes. Let me go in here now and Alright, because I could start doing them on the show probably. Let's see. Okay, we know Bernie was in here first with a 2 plus, so let me log everybody in for that. Then we'll get into, and I'll just keep an eye on it. We'll check on it at the end of the stream and see what you guys think. Uh, that was a last minute thing I decided to throw up there. I guess you can do that now in your, in your live streams. Uh, God is great is in with a 2 plus. And I'll go through the list of who's got on here. If we get seven, we're good to go for three prizes on the wheel. Big Ray. Okay, Big Ray with a two plus. Bernie H, Big Ray, Big Ray, and Big Ray. Or also. Yeah, yeah, I can do it on whatnot. And um, I'm trying to think how that would work. But we'll figure it out. It says, what would you think of me doing $1 auctions on Fridays? Starting, oh, it's supposed to, not mid-May, mid-May, in May. I got the extra M in there. Or also, what not auctions? So far, it's yes for, I'm assuming, both. Let me, uh, Tell you what. So did uh, I, did I is is it only three people? Got Big Ray, Bernie H. Oh, Sensei Domino is here. God is great is here. God is great. Sensei Domino. Two, four, six, eight. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say because of the other stuff coming up. I'm going to say we do have enough for three prizes on the wheel for April. Just so everybody knows there are three prizes on the wheel for April. Um, let me end that poll. Let me start a new one. One hundred percent yes. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can do it real quick while we're Still messing with this. I'm trying to figure these things out anyway. Uh, let's see, live chat.
Let's do it this way. How's that sound? <laughs> Which would you prefer? YouTube auctions, whatnot auctions, or both? We'll do that now. I'll leave that there for now, and then we will look at it at the end. So you meant doing $1 auctions on Friday YouTube live stream and doing them in whatnot, or not, correct? There, I just clarified it in my, in my new poll, okay? And you can encourage people to participate in that, those that are mods in the channel. Just uh, let me know by the end, so... I think I only got four people. Oh, Michael Hubers is in the house with a 2+. plus. We'll get you in here, Michael. You had extra bonus ones yesterday, too. One, two, three, four, five. So let me go through the list here real quick. If you can take make a vote in the option there. YouTube auctions, whatnot auctions, or both. So you can vote either way, and then we'll decide by then. And uh, I'm going to be doing my whatnot at least through the month of April, but I'm going to be doing it on Fridays. So Friday, I'll do my regular stream. My wife gave me permission. She said she'd rather me do it Friday night instead of Saturday to free up our Saturday for family time stuff and things of that nature. So that's what we're going to do. It'll, it'll be Friday. What I could do is we could make... Uh, different day during the week instead of uh, Hall of Fame we could make it uh, Thursday auctions Thursday dollar day auctions everything will start at a dollar or more I'll let you know what in case I do have some higher end cards I might put up for sale just to have fun in the channel also we can do that too so that's what I'll do how is Mrs. Cynthia? She is doing good, still waiting for her new heart valve. But we're hoping she'll take it easy and do that. What it makes Don more money, not enough people in YouTube stream to make any. Yeah, I know, but if you if you guys help me out and share it out to your friends that we're going to start doing uh, YouTube, um, I'll send messages, I'll, I'll post up some messages on my... Uh, on my uh, community tab so we can try and get more people to show up for my sale maybe we can uh, I don't know it's just for just to do it for a trial basis and we'll see what happens in that realm okay so we'll just go with that for now I'll definitely do the whatnot because I can get more people to kind of show up there because they pretty much share your platform out stuff like that and your abilities to share it out um, like I did the la my last sale and on there I know I can uh, I can stream it on Facebook live but I think they'd have to log into whatnot to be able to bid on the cards from what I can take I don't know I don't know if I can share to YouTube or not just get people in interacting um, I know I can do the social media platforms that they'll allow you to share it there so I, I know I did do a lot my last live sale on Facebook live don't know if I got anybody interacting or if anybody showed up or if I need to put a link on where they need to go to help participate that's what I don't know for sure Okay, so that's what I'll do for now. So I've got, let me know and forever hold your peace if you, if I missed you. But I got Bernie H, I got Big Ray, I got God is Great, I got Sensei Domino, and I got Michael Hubers in here. Did I miss anybody? Sensei Domino, God is Great, Bernie, God is Great, Big Ray, Sensei, Bernie, Big Ray. I think I got everybody. Has anybody seen Boomslang? How's he been doing? Might try and give him a quick jingle after after the stream today if, if he doesn't pop in here. 
I'm going to find out. He kind of dropped off the radar. Okay. Oh, what not? It makes Don more money. Not enough people in YouTube stream to make any. Uh, that's that's true. Oh yeah, I got I got Michael. I got Michael. I got Sensei. I got God is Great. I got Big Ray, and I got Bernie. Nobody else. I think I got everybody. Okay. Looks like we got. 60% currently are saying YouTube. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. So let me continue on here. We're going to get into our our trivia. Our trivia. Okay. And this trivia will be worth five points for the person that gets the correct answer first. Just a little clue. I'm going to be reading through the question once. And then you'll start guessing. Okay, so it's World Series related, and our birthdays for today, Wednesday, April the 10th, are Ross Young's, Ken Griffey Sr. Corey Kluber and Frank Larry. It's World Series related. All right. This is going to be a real quick trivia. I'm pretty sure, without a doubt, one of the quicker ones we've had in a long time. The Yankees have never lost the seventh game of a World Series at home. True or false? Go ahead and start your guessing now. Big Ray, you got it correct. It is false. It is false. Okay. So that, I told you it was going to be a quick one. All right. Big Ray's got the five points for the easy trivia today and it says the Yankees have never lost the seventh game of a World Series game at home the answer I'll read it on the back it is false they lost game seven at home in 1926 1955 and 1957 in 26 they lost six games and seven at home Pete Alexander, the pitcher who won Game 6, came in as a reliever in Game 7 to stymie a Yankee rally in the 7th frame for a 3-2 Cardinal win. In the 1955 series, the Yankees led two games to none before losing the next three at Ebbets Field. They took Game 7, or 6, but, but were then shut out by the Dodgers, Johnny Padres, in Game 7, two to nothing. They were shut out in game seven again in 1957 as the Braves Lou Burdett won his third game of the series with a five to nothing whitewash. So there you go. The Yankees have never lost the seventh game of a World Series at home was false. This moved over here, so we'll have it for later. All right, so I got you in there. We'll bring this back out at the end of the stream for the end of Can you guys see that? You could probably see that a little bit, right? Let me move it down at zero zero. They are in the top of the third.
Oh, no problem there, Michael. Thanks for popping into the stream here. At least you got your entries into the giveaway at the end of the month. So that's pretty good. Okay. So we got a runner on second, one out. JP Crawford up to that, up the bat. But we are going to get into our biography next. Okay. We're going to be doing Johnny Mize. This is uh, Johnny Mize's postcard for uh, for today. Okay. Johnny Robert Mize, the big cat. Played for St. Louis, the National League, New York, the National League, and New York in the American League, 1936 to 1953. Keen-eyed slugger smashed 359 home runs and batted 312 in his 15-year career while topping the 300 mark nine seasons in a row. Set major loop records by hitting three homers in a game six times and trio in succession on four occasions. Won the National League batting title once, led or shared lead in homers and all and slugging percentage four times. Runs batted in and total bases thrice. So that's Johnny Mize's postcard. All right, we're ahead one to nothing. And finally got the lead first. <laughs> All right, Johnny Mize. John Robert Mize was born January 7th, 1913. Passed away on June 2nd, 1993. Nicknamed Big John and the Big Cat. Was an American professional baseball player, coach, and scout. He played as a first baseman in Major League Baseball for 15 seasons between 1936 and 1953, losing three seasons to military service during World, World War II. Mize was a 10-time All-Star who played for the St. Louis Cardinals, the New York Giants, and the New York Yankees. During his tenure with the Yankees, the team won five consecutive World Series. Mize retired in 1953 with 359 career home runs and a 312 batting average along with 1118 runs, 2011 hits, 267 doubles, 83 triples, 1337 RBIs and 856 base on balls. Defensively, he recorded a 992 fielding percentage as a first baseman, and he served as a radio commentator, scout, and coach in major leagues after he retired as a player. He was selected for induction into the Baseball Hall of Fame by the Veterans Committee in 1981. In 2014, he was inducted into the St. Louis Cardinals Hall of Fame Museum. Give me a second here. Oh, put my handkerchief in there. Let me see if I can clean off my glasses. Got them all smudged up somehow. Bear with me. I'll be right back in here. Alright. Oops. Mm, Julio struck out. Okay, two outs. Run around first. One runner in. Early life and career. Mize was born in Dem Demarest, Georgia, to Edward and Emma Mize. After his parents separated, his mother went to Atlanta to work, but Mize remained in Durham, Demarest with his grandmother. He excelled in tennis as a child playing on his high school baseball team. He later played baseball for Piedmont College. Mize was a distant cousin of Ty Cobb and his second cousin married Babe Ruth. Mize came up through the St. Louis Cardinals minor league system but was traded to the Cincinnati Reds in 1934. However, he suffered a groin injury and the Reds nullified the trade in 1935 while struggling with one bad leg. He injured the other leg. Mize retired from the ba from baseball and returned home until the Cardinals asked him 
to see a physician in St. Louis. He had surgery for, bo for bone spurs. He was kept with the car. He was kept with the Cardinals in St. Louis after surgery, as he would not have been able to play regularly that season in the minor leagues anyway. The organization thought that it might get some opportunities to pinch hit in, with the major league team. Mize made his major league debut for the Cardinals in 1936. In 126 games, Mize hit for 329 batting average, 19 home runs, and 93 runs batted in. He later said, I'm the only guy who played in the major leagues because I couldn't play in the minors. As far as his early MLB career, Mize was known as both the Big John and the Big Cat for his smooth fielding at first base. In 1937, he batted 364, but Cardinals teammate Joe Medwick took the title with a 374 average. Mize had a 364. He had led the leg in triples and OPS in 1938. 1939, Mize finished second in the league's most valuable player, voting after leading the leg with a 349 average and 28 home runs. Mize's 43 home runs in 1940 set a Cardinals team record that stood for nearly 60 years at the end of the 1941 season. However, Cardinals general manager, Branch Rickey, who believed in trading players before their skills, began to decline. Uh, traded Mize to the New York Giants. In exchange for Mize, the Cardinals received Bill Lorman, Johnny McCarthy, and Ken O'Day and $50,000. Mize was involved in a 1941 lawsuit against the Gum Products Incorporated. The company manufactured a set of baseball cards called Double Play. Mize sued because he argued that the company did not have his consent to use his image in the card set. Gum Products Inc. won the lawsuit, but the company stopped producing its double play series because of the expenses it incurred during the legal proceedings with Mize. The Giants pursued Mize after learning that the first baseman, Babe Young, was going to be forced into military service. In 1942, Mize hit his lowest batting average in that point in his career, 305 but still hit 26 home runs and led the National League with 110 RBIs. Military service and later in his career. My spent 1943 through 45 in military service during World War II. During his service, he played for the Great Lakes Naval Station baseball team for a service for service members and new personnel in training. Mize hit 17 home runs in 51 games and batted over 475 while manning first base for the Blue Jackets. Other team members include Phil Rizzuto, who belonged to the Yankees outfielders Sam Chapman, Dom DiMaggio, and Barney McCoskey. Frankie Pipe Pilek and Brooklyn shortstop Pee Wee Reese and Johnny Lippin. The team was considered one of the best World War II era teams assembled. Returning to the Giants in 1946, a broken toe caused him to fall one short of the home run title, won by Ralph Kiner of the Pittsburgh Pirates. In 1947, he rebounded to hit 51 homers and Kiner for the league lead. He also led in runs in RBI and became the only player to strike out fewer than 50 times while hitting 50 home runs. Mize's 1947 total runs, home runs, and RBIs were all career highs. In 1948, Mize and Kiner again tied for the league home run championship with 40 each. Mize was traded to the New York Yankees late in the 1949 season after expressing discontent with his playing time.
Alright, gotta get a sip of water here quick. sound off. It's just so I can watch it here. <clears throat> oh, it's just to, that's just going to crash everything back there. There we go. Just in, just in case we get in trouble with YouTube police, I'll take it off the screen. I spent his last five years of his career with the Yankees, mostly as a part-time player, ending in 1953. He was, however, considered a valuable contributor to their winning five consecutive American League pennants and World Series titles. Despite spending part of the 1950 season in the minor league rehab, he had 25 home runs to become the second player to have 25 home run season in both leagues. In the 1952 World Series against the Brooklyn Dodgers, he hit three home runs, one as a pinch hitter, and was robbed of a fourth by Dodger right fielder Carl Farillo, who made a leaping catch above the fence in the 11th inning to preserve a win for the Dodgers. In October 1953, Mize announced his retirement. He said that he would rather retire while he was still popular with fans than to hang around until they started to boo. Mice told the Major League record for the most times hitting three homers in one game, a feat he performed six times. He also was one of a handful of players, including Babe Ruth, to do it in both leagues, five times in the National League and once in the American. He was the first player to hit three home runs in a game twice in one season in 1938 and did it twice again in 1940. He finished his career with 359 home runs. Mize still holds the Cardinals team records for most home runs in a season by a left-handed batter, most season RBI by a left-hander, and most games with three or more home runs. He and Carl Yastrzemski are the only players to have three seasons of hitting 40 or more home runs without a season of hitting between 30 and 39 home runs. Later in life, and after his 1953 retirement, Mize worked as a radio commentator, scout, and hitting coach for the New York San Francisco Giants in 1955 through 1960. He coached the Kansas City Athletics in 1961. In the 1970s, Mize made home in St. Augustine, Florida, working for a, develop, for a de development by the Deltona Corporation called St. Augusta Shores. A picture of his house is included in David Nolan's book, The House of St. Augustine. He was chosen by the Veterans Committee of the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1981. And he had appeared on the regular Hall of Fame ballot in the 1960s and 70s, where his highest vote percentage had been 43% in 1971. Mai spent the last few years of his life at his home in Demarest, Georgia. He underwent heart surgery in 1982, but returned to good health. He died in his sleep of cardiac arrest in 1993. As far as his legacy, upon Mize's death, Ralph Kiner described him as kind of an irascible guy on the field, but a very affable guy and a great storyteller off the field. Mize's batting statistics were overshadowed by those of bigger stars of his era, such as Ted Williams, Joe DiMaggio, Stan Musial, Jackie Robinson. Mize's lifetime on-base percentage of 397 has become more appreciated in the light of cybermetric analysis. In 2013, the Bob Feller Act of Valor Award honored Mize as one of 37 Baseball Hall of Fame members for his service in the United States Navy during World War II. In January 2014, uh, the Cardinals announced Mize among 22 former players 
and personnel to be inducted into the St. Louis Cardinals Hall of Fame Museum for the inaugural class of 2014. The Johnny Mize Baseball Museum is located at Piedmont College. The college also honors the slugger with the Johnny Mize Athletic Center, a sports complex that houses at the school's basketball arena. Okay, so now we'll go through the recap of Johnny Mize's uh, Hall of Fame statistics. Again, he was a first baseman, born January 7, 1913, in Demarest, Georgia, United States, died June 2, 1993, at the age of 80 in Demarest, Georgia. Batted left through right is MLB debut April 16, 1936 for the St. Louis Cardinals. His last MLB appearance was September 26, 1953 for the New York Yankees. His MLB statistics are as follows. Batting average 312, hits 2011, home runs 359 and runs batted in 1,337. Played for uh, three teams through his career. St. Louis Cardinals, 1936, the New York Giants, 1942-46-49, and his career highlights and awards, oh, and the New York Yankees, 1949-53, sorry, career highlights and awards, 10 times All-Star, 37-39-42, 46-49, and 1953, 6 World Series champion, or five times World Series champion, 1949 to 53. Uh, five World Series championships in 1949 to 53. National League batting champion, 1939. Four times national home run leader, 1939, 40, 47, and 48. Three times National League RBI leader, 1940, 42, and 47, St. Louis Cardinals Hall of Fame, and he was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1981 via the Veterans Committee. So there you have Johnny Mize's biography. And to close things off, I do have a few cards of Johnny Mize, not many, but do have a few in my collection here. Well, I can leave you there. So we'll go through those in just a second here. Let me get Johnny Mize off the board. Tomorrow we will be doing Paul Molitor. Paul Molitor. I'll have a little binder of Paul Molitor set up to share with you tomorrow. Paul Molitor will be our Hall of Famer for tomorrow. Okay. Let's go here to uh, through some of Johnny Mize's cards. This one here is a Cooperstown. Uh, I believe this one's from 2012 Cooperstown, Cooperstown set. This was a little a little series, I believe, that uh, highlighted the veterans. And this is when he showing the time frame he was in uh, the United States Army. So that's a cool card, card number ten. Then we have next here this older style one. It's a uh, Kmart card. Where is that Circle K? It says K. It might be Circle K, but it's Tops John, Johnny Mize Collector Series number 32. Then we have a Johnny Mize Upper Deck. From 2000. Pretty cool Johnny Mize there. Alright, then next we got Baseball Greats Johnny Mize Swell. This is from 1990 Swell product. Okay, then next we have another Johnny Mize here from the a 2012 Panini set for his induction. Then we have uh, a Ted Williams here. Uh, 
the big cat card number 129 from can see the date on here for sure break out my 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 baby 1998 Dead Williams. And then our last two are almost identical. The Diamond Legends, Johnny Mize, and then the Diamond Legends insert where they have the little stamp down here that says Major League Baseball 125th Anniversary. So you have the base one and then you have the one with the stamp for the 125th Anniversary. You can see that there. There you go. It's two identical cards, but two variations. All right. So other than that, that is my Johnny Mize little co collection there. Just in case you're wondering. Okay. Let me set these off to the back here real quick. Next. So, stop the show. Oh, that's fine. That's why I moved it off the screen. I don't want to leave it up there too long. They might say something. YouTube AI bots will catch it. I'll see. If so, I can always edit that. Well, we'll see. We'll see what they say. Sometimes when you just do a little portion, they don't mind as much. But from what I... I, I I'm pretty sure I can listen to the game on whatnot, because they don't have anything like a copyright strike there, because I don't think they save the videos. They just do it during the live, live stream. Okay, I'm going to set this aside for now, and we're going to open up, um, but thanks there, Big Ray. Let me do a refresh here on my chats, get this up, and we're going to, we're going to open up this box from Jason. See what he sent me here. Let me get my seesaws out here. It's from Jason to me. I don't care if you guys see that. Here, I can block it off so it doesn't stay on there for ever. There we go. Now I got that blocked off so you can't read it. Not that I'm worried about a tracking number. That will only just show where it got delivered. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, open up this box here from Jason, see what he sent me. I think he's using an old Amazon box for a repack here. Okay, and let's go through here. Go Cobras 28. There we go. Thanks for popping in here, Go Cobras. Is this your, is this your first time that I think you made it into my channel here. Appreciate you for stopping by. What do we got here? Some packing. Some packing. Uh oh, he's got something in here. Oh, I got some mega. Oh, I got some mega boxes. I'll have some. Let's see. Let me set this off to the side here for now. Let me get these mega boxes. Let's keep me supplied and some mega boxes. I like that. I can always put these mega boxes back together. Use them for my repacks for my Patreon. But I don't need those kind of boxes. I've got tons, that's for sure. So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. And 
we've got some some cards here. down here. Oops. Let me fix that there. Looks like we've got... Let me pull these out real quick. We've got, it looks like, one, two, three. Oh, we'll have a fair feel for Friday again. Seven weeks worth of Fairfields here. Or no, six. Six weeks. Three. That's four. And then five. And then six. We got a six Fairfields. The box is empty. I'll just do it that way. It's easier to show you that it's empty that way. Two more blasters in the archives here. Now I could put these. Down here. Put these away for now until Friday and we'll pull out a Fairfield for our Fairfield Friday. And we'll see what we've got in these packs here real quick. Oops. Stuff there. Let me straighten this out. I don't know what's in here for sure. Oh no, some packs. We've got some packs. Oh my word, another team, another couple of team bags. Oh my word, we've got packs. We've got team bags. We've got an empty bag now. Another. Ooh, that's that little air pack. That can come in handy one of these days. We got some packs. Got a Stadium Club Series One, 1992. 1992 Series One. Got a 21 Heritage. Got a 90 Fleer. We got some 1988 Donruss, I think. So we got Donruss, we got Fleer, we got Topps Heritage, we got Topps Stadium Club. These will go into my pack box for, uh, yeah, my Patreons. I always like to get some, some newer stuff to give them sometimes. Thanks, Jason, for that. Appreciate that. Put that put those in my pack box. Now let's see what we got in here for the team bags. We've got oh, we got some rookies. This, well, at least he's got a label here. We got some star rookies. We got some oh wow, some older or older cards mixed in here. Probably got some Mariners here. Julio, I don't have that Julio, that's for sure. Maybe he loaded me up with some Julios in my Mariner bag. Then we've got a Shohei Otani. Alright, and we've got some Hall of Famers, I think. Let's see what we got here with Dave Winfield. We got a Hall of Famer. We got some Topps Chromes. Bardot, Stargell, Mays, uh, Sparky Anderson, got Amari Wills, Cal Ripken Jr., Bruce Suter. Sorry, you guys probably can't even see these as I'm going through. Suter, Winfield, uh, Tom Glavin, Nolan Ryan, uh, Roberto Clemente, Mel Ott, 
Willie Mays. Oh, we got two more 2017 cards. Oh, that's the 210 and the two Mel Ott and that's so that their new uh, I'll set these off to the side for now. Keep those with my 2023 stadium clubs. Okay. These ones here will go to my 2017. I don't know if I have these or not, but we'll find out. He probably gave me these so I can add them to my set. Okay. I'll put that there for now. Who do we got in here? We got a. Uh... Oh, that's a Shohei Otani. That's a cool one. And a Shohei Otani tops now. I don't think I got that one. That's, that's awesome there. be back before the end of the stream. All right, Sensei Domino, no problem. No problem, brother. If you make it back, we'd be more than welcome to have you back in the stream. All right. So let's see. So these are Hall of Famers, along with these guys. This is here. I'll put these up here, the Sh Shohei Otanis. Anderson, Mays, these any these oh these are two refractors. I thought they were two of them were refractors. The Willie Stargell, the Lou Bordeaux, the Willie Mays, and the Sparky Anderson. And these ones here. Oh, let's see who ah, we'll choose this one next. I'll just go through these team bags that he sent me here. Let's see what kind of goodies we have in here. So these are sleeved Hall of Famers. These are unsleeved Hall of Famers. Mm -hmm. All right, we have some 150 out of 199 Colin Moran, Pittsburgh. Oh, these look like some Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Pirates here. Oh, here, let's do it this way. These ones here. Pittsburgh Pirates. Priester, Bednar, Davis. Pittsburgh, New York Yankees. Now we got some Yankees. Pirates, Pirates. Um, Pirates, Yankees, Pirates. Pirates, 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 a lot of pirates in here. Oh, that's a cool one. Stennett, Drabeck, McWilliams, and a pirate suit. That's an older one. 1970 or 69, one of the two. So, no, 1970s, the gray ones. And a couple of Yankees. Oh, we know where these go. I'll make one more look see through them later. Okay. 
Okay. Let's go through this one. These ones will go. We know where these are going to go for now. So I do my full separation on my. Well, the Mel Ott and the Willie Mees are both Hall of Famers. Still looking for two cards 113 and 138. These look like. Uh, see how. Oh, actually, let's do this one last. We'll do that one last. We'll go through these rookies here. These will go to my rookie box. These will go to my rookie box. I like that. Star rookie. Octavio Dotel. Decombra Donner. These all rookies. Hmm. Uh, Bobby Smith. Uh, Carter Keeboom. Steve Finley. Jeff Brantley, uh, Rod Booker, uh, Joe Fry, Bowman First. Ooh, I like that one. What year is this? 2015. Eric Cordier, San Francisco Giants. Frankie Rodriguez, Darren Lewis, Danny Neagle. Ryan Bowen, uh, David Eckstein, Todd Walker, Matt Garza draft pick, Nate Freeman, A.J. Griffin, Keith Miller, Jose Siri, hmm. uh, Fernando Tatis, This, uh, hmm. Interesting. Uh, Ryan Glenn, Kevin Ori, uh, Arroyo, uh, got a Oriole sixty six. Chad Orvilla, Tyler Pellard, Mitch Boggs, Jose Siriano, Jose Ferrer, and the Angels. Awesome. These are Hall of Famers. These are the Pirates and the Yankees. They'll find a home. These are rookies. Let me put this rookie, these rookies back in the in the bag here. Put these rookies back in the bag. Seventy Pirates card. Yeah, that is there. Thanks, Jason. I know I got a home for these rookies here. Let's look through this Mariner bag here real quick. Let's see if I got any new. new I, I know the one J Rod here. I know I don't. Pretty sure I don't have this J Rod. I see a couple, another one. Good vibrations. I like that one too. Any Julio Rodriguez, whether it's insert, anything like I like that. The way that one looks there. Big. To the moon. 
and good vibrations. Are these from Big League or something? They're both 24s. I'm guessing they're probably Big League. Could be wrong. Okay. Now let me see what we got here for my Mariners. Got a Bob Melvin here. Julio Rodriguez. SB6. Can't remember if I have one of those or not. But now I have another Julio. Um, Cal Rally with a, a relic. We got uh, David Bell, Fleming, DeLuca. There's another Julio. Now we got another cat. We got Cal Ripken Jr., Sterling Hitchcock, Edgar Martinez, Hall of Famer. Let's see if that I need that one for my my Edgar Suarez, Crawford, Barroa, another Julio. Oh my word! We got an autograph. Morbun, Julio Morbun. My word. Wasn't expecting an autograph in here. That's good. Nice to hit. Eric Canson. Tim Lopes. Jake Fraley. Isaiah Campbell. Uh, Ryan Wu. There's a Julio. Another Julio watch. Dave Valle. Greg Briley. Harold Reynolds. Scott Bradley. Tracy Jones, Alvin Davis, John Moses, Ichiro. I put my Ichiro there. Hancock, Fiskel, another Julio. Oh, this is the base, and that was, uh, oh wow. Oh, you load me up there, locking with some Julios. Scott Bankhead. Oh, Percy Harvin. Oh, we got a got a football. Percy Harvin. Emerson Hancock. Big League. And we got a Oscar Hernandez. Tops Chrome. Bruce Fields. Kaneko Texera. Lee Gutterman. Scott Bankhead. Gene Walter. Another Ichiro. I don't think I, I don't know if I've got that Ichiro. I'll have to look in my book. Brian Wu, Luis Castillo, Dominic Canzone, the Oscar Hernandez, George Kirby, a Julio Big League. Oh, that Randy Johnson's got to go in the box. This Randy Johnson's got to go in the box. Ichiro. Oh my word. All kinds of goodies in here. Randy Johnson. Cal Rally and J.B. Crawford. Oh my word. Oh, I mixed one of my penny sleeved ones in here. There we go. All Seattle Mariners. This has got to be a big lake too. Yeah, I got so many inserts these days in the lower end cards. Hard to collect everything. Still one nothing. Top of the sixth. Randy Johnson, Kyle Ripken, Edgar Martinez, Ichiro. Relic. We got a we got we got we got awesome hits in these team bags. And including Shohei Otani. I don't think I have these two Shohei Otanis yet. 
I don't purchase many of the tops now for Shohei, but appreciate that, Jason. I like both these. I'll go to my Shohei Otani collection. I send a lot of my duplicates to uh, to uh, God is great when he wins some prizes. That's some of the prizes I send to him, some Shohei Otanis. But Percy Harvin, wasn't expecting that one. Let me put that one over here for now. For that will have to go in my other sports, my my other Seattle sports, my basketball and football. But thanks there, Jason. Appreciate that. You gave me a lot more work to do now. Not a lot. Got a lot more sorting to do. A lot more sorting. Let me just put these stacks over here and get them out of the way. And we'll get ready to break out our... Uh, these are Yankees and Pirates. Uh, rookies for my rookie sort for my pa other Patreon tiers. Seattle Mariners. Another Seattle Mariner relic. Another relic. Run out of spaces here. Well, oh, this can go off to the side. That goes in the recycle bin, the box. I got so many boxes, I don't know what to do with them all. But the Ichiro's, the Johnson. Cal Ripken Jr., I have my holdouts there for those. Edgar Martinez, have to see if that goes in the binder. My Julio Rodriguez. Let's see which of these go into my binder first. These ones will go here. But still looking for, as we open up our stadium club here soon. Let's see, these will go to the bases. 63, 63. You know what? I got those, so these will go in my Hall of Famers. Bill Lott, Willie Mays, and the Shohei Otanis. Go with the Shohei Otani separation. My work. He filled me up today. These will go here, the boxes for my repacks. I might have to flat. I think that's a good idea. I might have to flatten all my boxes out to make space here. I'm running out of space in my room. Alright. So I don't even know where we're at. Let's see where we're at. Michael is here. Michael Hubers is back. Or was back. Let me do a refresh here. What time we got? 3.12. Okay. Look at the, look at it this way. If I do, if I do the sales on my channel, at least I know people in my channel that like to collect my stuff. It's not a matter of whether I make a lot of money when it's my YouTube channel. It's just having fun and seeing you guys get some of the cards that you might want for your collection. Because it's hard to know everything that you collect. It's hard to know everything that you collect. And look at that. Oh my word, I just noticed it. We're actually at double digits. We're at double digits, so we get to do a blaster box war. Blaster box war. So for now, I'm going to set this one off to the side here. We'll do the 
blaster box for. Let's see what we get here. We got 10 thumbs up. We made it. Oh, you guys surprise me sometimes. And our next one is an Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge number 99. For our master photo. Okay. For our master photo. Okay. I'm going to just do it this way, just to save time here. We're going to open up this one. This is going to be the first one. I'm going to put the second one here. And we'll, that way we'll have both judgy. Yep, judgy. And who knows? Maybe we won't have anything if we get up to 20. <laughs> I doubt we get up to 20 people here. We got 10 people watching in the stream. That's a hasn't happened in a while. What do we got in here? Jay's Mix is in the house. God is great. Okay. So let's get the second blaster box good to go here. Oh, uh, this has got a security tag in it. And our next master photo is Ronald Acuna Jr. 262. So, out of Acuna... And Judge, I'm going to put Judge in front because I think Judge is in the lead right now for the two master photos. And let's get the boxes empty. The packs are here. We've got 16 packs of cards. Get about 80 cards out of here. Doubles our chances to get either card 113 or 138. Put this in the back over here. And let's start gri rip, gripping and ripping. Okay. So after this, we'll go ahead and do our two minute warning and end this stream. Wow, 16 packs. Let's roll. There we go. All right, we got a Xander Bogarts with the San Diego Padres. Shout out to Kevin's Models and more. Base. Dale Murphy with the Braves. Base. Uh, Ted Williams with the bat. Base. And we got a color variation. Jeremy Pena with the Astros. It's a black. David Wright with the New York Mets. The Big Apple. Uh, base. All right. Pack number two. We got Zach Gallant with the Arizona Diamondbacks base. We got a show. Oh, let me uh, zoom in on this. Oh, zoom. Come on. Are you zooming? You gotta zoom all at once, aren't you? Uh, Shohei Otani. Base. I think we got all the good boxes probably already from this case. Then we got an Andres Jimenez. 81. Base. Virtuosis of Velocity. Juan Soto. And E. John Bay, or G. Juan Bay, rookie card, base, 133. Okay, pack number three. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
Nothing spectacular. I'm just. Estere Ruiz, rookie card. 247, base. Eloy Jimenez with the White Sox. Shout out to Chuck Dupree Sports Cards. Base. Uh, Brendan Rogers with the Colorado Rockies. Base. And Francisco Alvarez, base, 207, red. And Bobichet with the Blue Jays, base. Okay, pack number four, halfway mark of the first box. We've got the first card, Derek Hall, rookie card for the Philadelphia Phillies. Base. We got Tristan McKenzie with the Cleveland Guardians. Base. Got Jacob DeGrom with the Texas Rangers. Base. We've got Salvador Perez, color variation. I just got my package today, Donald. Oh, there you go. Good, good cops. Glad you got it, Jonathan. This is a red Salvador Perez and a Jim Palmer Hall of Famer base. Hopefully, you like what I sent to you. Hopefully, you enjoy it. Okay. Pack number five, next. Still one to nothing. Top of the seventh. Uh, one out, nobody on base for Seattle. All right, and we've got uh, Will Smith with the Dodgers base. Max Scherzer with the Mets base. Uh, Aaron Nola with Philadelphia base. Then we got a Ryan Creedler uh, base color variation red. That's cool looking red with the background. And Jake Cronenworth with the San Diego Padres base. Remember the two names for 113 is Michael Harris the second and uh, Hidea Hideki Matsui. Uh, so pack number six. Chipper Jones on the back. Uh, Zach Wheeler with the Philadelphia Phillies. Base. Uh, Trevor Story with the Red Sox. Base. Uh, Jose Musgrove. With the Padres base, the Chief Fantasy, Justin Verlander, and Chipper Jones with the Braves base. All right, back number seven. Oh no, they're just showing yesterday's. I was gonna say, you just had one yesterday, you got another one today. Okay. We got Jordan Walker with the Cardinals, rookie card. Base. Got 
It's Dan the Man Musial playing billiards. Uh, bass. Got the Joe Maurer with the twins. Bass. And we've got uh, Jazz Chisholm Jr. with the Miami Marlins. Color variation. Red. And Dalton Varsho with the Blue Jays. Base. Alright, last pack magic on the first box. Alright. Oh, I think I got it. We got a triumvirate. Hopefully it's one I don't have yet. Alright. Uh, James Altman with the Dodgers rookie card. Uh, base. Uh, Dave Winfield, Hall of Famer. Base. Uh, Masataka Yoshida. Base. Got a triumvirate, Mike Trout. Mike Trout, triumvirate. T26. Don't know for sure if I've got that one or not. And CJ Abrams, Washington National Base. Okay. for our second blaster box coming up here. So let's see, what did we get in there? We got a judge, master photo. Got the judge, master photo. And that one. We'll see what we get with uh, the other one. But we got the uh, judge, master photo, the Mike Trout triumvirates, the uh, Juan Soto for the Virtuosos of Velocity. The Chief Fantasy, Justin Verlander. All right. We'll kind of do it this way. And then we got the uh, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Red. Uh, Ryan Creedler, rookie card with Detroit Red. Salvador Perez, Red. Francisco Alvarez rookie card with the Mets red and our black variation is this one that looks like he's sitting there with a bunch of gold around him in the ceiling Jeremy Pena black okay let me get a sip of water real quick here we'll get through this second box and then we'll end the stream for today Up to bat, we've got. I wonder, he probably got those some of those packs probably out of the Fairfield boxes. I think he's been saving them for me, but that's okay. He knows I use them for my Patreon packages. Uh, Eric Davis, let's see, Let me get that there. Eric Davis with the Reds, base JP Crawford with the Mariners. Base. Christopher Morrell, rookie card for. Is that the Brew Crew? No, the Cubbies. Base. The Lubob. Base with the White Sox. And. Mike Piazza. Base. Is there five cards in there? Oh yeah, just all base. No no color variations. Oh no, yeah, the black. The Lubob. I just forgot to separate it out. I was like, wait a minute, I thought I had them. They just tied it up. Come on, Logan. 
Yeah, you were doing so good. Well, you're still doing good. Only got 68 pitches in the seventh. But you gave up a home run. Oh, now it's tied 1 1. Okay. So, first up to bat here, we got Will the Thrill Clark with San Francisco Giants base. We've got uh, Matt Walner, rookie card for the Minnesota Twins base. Now we got David Hensley, rookie card for the Houston Astros. Ooh, I think we might have two color variations. Sometimes they do that. Yeah, David Hensley, Houston Astros, base. Um, Will Brennan, Cleveland Guardians, uh, red. Pup. Not two color variations. We got another insert though. Virtuosis of Velocity. Is that uh, Jose Ramirez? Base. And Spencer Strider with the Atlanta Braves. Base. Okay, next pack in the stack. Oh, they actually got an off day tomorrow. like he's uh, that's just a memory from my past gone to the, the this museum in Las Vegas but Alex Verdugo Alex Verdugo with the Boston Red Sox base the Oscar Hernandez with the Mariners base uh, Jane McCarthy Arizona Diamondbacks base. Ooh, we got a color variation for our Ken Griffey Jr. I like those. And it's the red. And Francisco Alvarez with the Mets rookie card base. Okay. Pack number four. Halfway through the box. Hopefully you guys have been having a good week. Mine has been pretty good. Looking forward. We, me and me and the wife went Monday and visit our grandson. Uh, George Kirby with the Seattle Mariners base. Clayton Kershaw with the Dodgers base. We got two outs real quick right after the home run. Okay, one more out, then we need to get some runs. Kyle Schwarberger with uh, Philadelphia Phillies base. And we got a Masataka Yoshida color variation. Sepia rookie card. And the Mike Trout base. Okay, pack number five. Johnny Bench, Hall of Famer. Base. Sorry, I'll just space it out there. Robbie Ray with the Mariners. Base. And boom. I look away, look up, and it's Mark Bentos. Autograph. Rookie card. On card auto. For Mark Vientos. Oh my word. This one gets a, a penny sleeve. And an auto. Schwarberger. It wouldn't. Schwarber. Is it Schwarber? It's 
It's probably Schwarber, huh? How do you say it? <laughs> Schwarber. It's probably Schwarberger. <laughs> Schwarber. Yeah, it's Schwarber. I always pronounce it wrong, don't you? Always love when he pronounces it Schwarberger. It wouldn't be Uncle Don if he pronounced it any other way. <laughs> I know. Shoot the messenger. That's okay. It was nice to get the autograph. So at least now we got another auto. Uh, I don't. This might be the second one of these. I I might have two of his autographs now. Can't remember. We're gonna do a recap probably next week of all my hits. Or actually, we might do it Friday. Might do it Friday. We'll see. No, no, that's right. We're gonna be doing a fairly long stream on Friday, so I don't wanna belabor it that much. Oh wow. Oh wow. That too. Oh, Dylan Cease with the White Sox base. Oh, I think I turned him upside down. We got Lenny uh Lenin Sosa. Is he related to Sammy Sosa? Uh, red. And the Chief Fantasy, Pete Alonzo. Alright. Pack number six is up next. So we got Chicago coming in for town. The to town for three. And then Cincinnati for three. Now we go back on the road again. Let's go here, and we've got uh, Ryan Mountcastle with the Orioles base. Oh, that was a quick one out. One pitch, one out. Uh, Garrett Mitchell, rookie card for the Brew Crew. Base. Stephen Kwan. Uh, or the Cleveland Guardians, base. We got Joe Ryan for the Twins, red. And we got Tarek Skewball. Bested by one, 114 uh, base. Man, all I need is two more cards. It's a patent on Donald's channel. Mm -hmm. It is one of your signature pronunciations. <laughs> uh, Trey, Trey Turner, black. Whoa. That was the first one in the stack. Trey Turner, black. And then we got a Joe Ryan. Oh, I probably opened it wrong. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, probably did. Base. Joe Ryan, base. Brooks Robinson, base. And a Marcus Simeon, base. Okay, last pack magic. Still haven't found those two cards. Might have to just order them on Feebay or something. We got this last one today, and then... What the heck? Oh, is that because we got the auto before? Is that why we're getting short-staffed here? Shohei Otani. Base. Has anybody found the, the Shohei Otani super short print in this set? I believe it's card 250. I believe it's card 250. And it's, I uh, can't remember what for sure what card number 250 is, but it's not Shohei Otani except for the super, super, let's see, super short print. Super, super short print. SSP. Uh, 250. So that would have been cool. I, I double checked to make sure I didn't get one and didn't pay attention to it. But uh, Estre Ruiz with the Oakland Athletics base. Uh, 
uh, Andrew McCutcheon with Pittsburgh Pirates base. Last but not least, Cedric Mullins base with the Orioles. So 113 and I just want to make sure because I sorted all my other cards last night and could not find either of these two cards. 138 or 113. Here's 136, 114, making sure I didn't go right past it and space it out. I've been known to do that too. Okay, Let me just double check this stack. See if we can find here or see if we can find it or not find it here. Probably it is not here. I don't remember seeing either of them. Hmm. But we did find another autograph. I will say that for a case, we found quite a handful of autographs there, that's for sure. So let's see what we got here besides our auto. So for the master photo, you guys be the judge. The first box or the second box. We got the uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. Master Photo along with Mark Bientos rookie card for the New York Mets. Along with Chief Fantasy Professionals Pete Alonso and Virtuosos of Velocity Jose Ramirez. We did get the the Sepia Masataka Yoshida rookie card. And then for our Reds, we did get the Joe Ryan Red, the Lenin the Lenin Sosa rookie card, the Ken Griffey Jr. Red, and the Will Brennan Red rookie card. And then last but not least for the blacks, we got two blacks, the Trey Turner with the Philadelphia Phillies and the Lou Bob in the black with the Chicago White Sox. So not too bad. And then we have both stacks. Who was the auto again? Oh, the autograph was... Uh, Mark Bientos, rookie card for the New York Mets. Mark Bientos with the New York Mets was our autograph. So, you guys got any thoughts on which one was the better blaster box? Just kind of curious. So let me get our sheet down here. You can see it right there in the archives. Let me scooch these up just a little bit here. Scooch those up. Scooch those up. Scooch this up. Okay. Let's go and let's see, we'll do 43. Let me get it ready. Bottom of the eighth, two outs. Blue Jays got a runner on first base. Okay, let's start the end of stream. Two minute warning. We got 10 people, 11 viewers now. 11 viewers. Don't think we're going to get up to 20 before we end here. Bernie H is in here with a two plus. Alex 
Mix was here. Jay's Mix. Get you into my entry here, Jay. Sensei Domino. Sensei Domino's with a got in for two. Michael Hubers is probably gone, right? Cops is here. The two plus. Okay. Cops, Big Ray, Jay's Mix, Sensei Domino, Bernie H. Four. All right. Anybody else? We got less than a minute to go. Let me get it ready to end, and then we'll end our stream for today. And we'll be back tomorrow for Paul Molitor's bio. That'll be pretty good, and I'll have a nice little binder of Paul Molitor cards. I'll be sharing with you. Okay, God is great. Or there, or everywhere. All right, I got everybody to double check real quick. We got Bernie H. We got Big Ray's ball cards. We got cops. We got God is great. We got Jay's mix. We got Sensei Domino. All right. Did I miss anybody? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Not Paul Molitor. Who hope I could make it? No problem, Jay's mix. All right. So, this has been Don Blonda, Hall of Fame Veteran Sports Cards, and more with Hall of Fame Biography, Episode 217, Johnny Mice, plus our trivia, plus family mail call from Jason, plus 2023 Top Stadium Blaster Box War 2. We got one more left in the case for tomorrow, and worst case scenario, we'll at least have a Fairfield Box on Friday, along with our Hall of Famer on Friday, which will be Joe Morgan. Joe Morgan on Friday. So hopefully you all enjoyed this today. Take care. Have a wonderful and blessed day. And we will see you all around the channels. Until then, take care. It's been fun. We'll see you around the channels. Bye for now.